That scavenger's just arrived in the jungle. He's been lurking around here for the past few days. I don't like it one little bit. The scent of this red flower is slightly lemony. The scent of this yellow flower is a little less acidic. Can you smell the difference, Mowgli? Close your eyes. Which flower is it? Uh, the red one? <laughs> your turn. The yellow one? The red one. Yeah, okay, nice going. Maybe my sense of smell is not as good as yours, but I've got my own ways of recognizing flowers. I look at their shapes, their colors. Ah! Oh! Quick, he's coming! Oh, where did those devils go? They've woken me up four times during my nap, and they think it's funny. Harjeet <sighs> certainly has an infernal knack for bringing a stink to everything and anyone around him. Do you think we lost him? Oh, that dreadful smell is still hanging in the air. He can't be far behind us. No, it can't be him. No animal smells that bad. Come on. Wait, not that way. We'll end up too close to Shere Khan. Don't worry. I know a shortcut along the edge of his territory. Ah, here's my favorite. What a delight. There's nothing like it, is there? Uh, nothing like it. It smells just as bad as over there. I can't smell its usual scent. Mowgli, help me. I can't tell which is the ripest mango anymore. Well, um, hmm. feel them. This one is all soft. It's got to be the ripest. You can eat this one for sure. Thanks. It's so tasty. That dreadful smell spread everywhere. Mowgli, Baba and Lali aren't with you? No, they're playing with Harjeet. Playing or driving him crazy? <laughs> My nose tells me Harjeet's angry. Even when Harjeet kicks up a big stink, he doesn't normally smell this bad. How will I find my two little ones? This stench has caused me to lose my sense of smell. Me too. We'd better stay alert. I wouldn't even recognize my own scent if I bumped into myself. <laughs> Don't worry, Raksha. There are other ways to find Bala and Lolly. Bala! Bala! Lolly! Say something! Show yourselves! There! What? Look! Shortcut? Now we're lost. Don't blame me. It's Hajit's stench. Hajit? Are you kidding? He's miles away. We've come too close to Shere Khan's territory. I'll bet it's the carcasses of all his prey that reeks so badly. Shut up or you'll get us caught. I don't want to be his next victim. <gasps> I'm scared. Get us out of here. <laughs> You've got some nerve coming to mock me on my own territory. Kalu the Crow at your service, Shere Khan. Your fame spreads beyond the jungle. I'm thinking of settling in the area and I've come to propose a deal. A deal? I'll help you hunt your prey and in return you leave me the leftovers. <laughs> I got to tell you, you're no use to me at all. <laughs> you see, there's only one animal in this jungle that Shere Khan trusts. Me! Keep your distance, you scrawny little jerkle! Oh, yeah? Enough, Tabaki! Follow me. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Where Bala and Lolly? They got away. Wait till I get my paws on them, Al. <laughs> that banana's totally rotten. Doesn't seem to have any smell at all. <laughs> oh, Jeet's not the one causing the stink. He's lost his sense of smell too. 
Okay, let's split up. Baggy will go with Raksha to find Lolly and Bala. Baloo and I will go and try to find where that horrible smell is coming from. The birds... The birds! From high up, they can see far and wide. And they're not affected by the smell. Chill! Darcy! This way, Darcy! But it stinks down there! <laughs> oh, all right. What a stench! I can't smell those wolf cubs. Tabaki, what's that smell? Wasn't me, though, Master. I swear. Where are those tasty wolf cubs? Start looking, imbecile! My offer still stands, boss. It would be a shame to miss today's special offer. Catch one wolf cub, get another free. You've missed them by the whisker twice already. <laughs> but hey, if you're not hungry... Not so fast, Mr. Know-it-all. You've got one chance to prove your worth. Climb up the ravine. The third time we've been here. Do you like leading me around by the nose like this? Well, where are they? Yeah, where they at? You lost them. Kalu the expert, eh? Kalu the nitwit is more like it. They're hiding, but I'll find them. You'd better. There's something at the bottom of the big waterfall. It's down there. Some kind of gigantic flower that... <coughs> Thanks, Chill. Baloo and I can take it from here. I'm going to find Darcy. This way, Bagheera. That's the fourth time we've been past here. Those wretched wolf cubs won't stay still. Kids. <laughs> there they are. Straight ahead. Go. On the left. Straight ahead. On the left. To the right. Down below. Straight ahead! On the left! Down below! To the right! No! On the left! Over! Under! Around! Through! Yes! No! Down! Oh. Over! Are you going to stop flapping soon, Tweety? Yes! No! I'll stop when you stop! Watch out, Darcy! <laughs> Anyone. I'm stuck between a jackal with the jitters and a big mouth bird. Follow me. <laughs> Quick, Shere Khan is likely near. Where is the exit? There it is. Look, it's growing out of a tree trunk. It must have floated down the river and washed up here. Let's push it back into the water so it can go and stink somewhere else. I wonder if it could be an Aram Titan, a gigantic flower from Sumatra. It's come a long way. It stinks for three days when it blooms, but I never would have guessed it could totally wipe out an animal's sense of smell. This is no time for a botany lesson. Three days, you say? Help me! Ah, oh. <sighs> oh, what a relief. Can you smell anything? <laughs> That's wonderful! I can make out all the jungle's subtle smells once again. Me too. It's great! Uh, but that means that everyone's sense of smell will be back now, including Shere Khan. What are we going to do if we can't hunt anymore? I've got an idea. <laughs> Snifflers, you don't scare me. Then you don't scare us, Shere Khan! There you are! Out of my sight, you worthless, good-for-nothing mad grub! As for that cursed crew, I'd better not catch him flapping on my territory again. That bird certainly hatched out of nowhere. We'll have to keep our eyes on him. I'll keep an eye on him. 
My beloved flowers, I'm so happy I can smell your pleasant aromas again. Tomorrow, we'll go and study that stinky flower up close. It must have washed up near the Great Lake. Huh? We're all set if we've got these. You sure it can't wait another two days, Blue? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, you're a centipede. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Grapes? Coconuts, that's it. You're coconuts. No! <clears throat> car. I was being car, of course. joke of me. I saw you pretending to be me. Oh, really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you laugh at me? I'll see to it you never mock me again. You are my prisoner now. Forever. Don't count on it, Masha. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly smells like monkeys. And where there are monkeys, there's trouble. Stop him! Bye, Masha! You think I'm silly, man cub? Well, I know what this thing is. Oh. And I know this thing keeps it shut. <laughs> All right, Masha. I shouldn't have made fun of you. I'm sorry. Please let me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Don't tell me. You're being a small, scared man cub now. I win! Masha! Masha! Curses! You're not Masha! Where is Masha? <laughs> Locked up in here forever? You can't do this, Masha! <sighs> How about we play a game? If I win, you let me out. If you win, you can keep me forever. Silly man cub. I already have you forever. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll just play my game anyway. <laughs> hey, stop that! Hey, stop that! <laughs> Are you trying to be someone? You. I'm being you. 
You see, I'm you, you lose. <laughs> I'm you, you lose. <laughs> no, you lose, you lose, you lose! No, you lose, you lose, you lose! <sighs> Get me that thing. That thing, I threw down that thing. Mira, grab that man cub. <laughs> <laughs> Intruders! Baloo and Bagheera are coming to Cold Lair! <sighs> My prisoner might like some company. <laughs> Mandalore! <laughs> Something's going on in there. Come on! <laughs> You're not Masha either. Let me go! Oh, oh, I've been called to go to So she's there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Welcome to my kingdom, prisoners! Who are the silly ones now? <laughs> Let them go! They didn't do anything! Silence, helpless ones! Hooray for me! <laughs> To this, but maybe Darcy can get us out. Huh? Oh, on my way. <laughs> Darcy, look out! Behind you! <laughs> look! Look! I caught the bird trying to steal the thing! Give them to me! Is mine, and I will deal with this thief. No, Masha, let Darcy go. Don't hurt her. I will do whatever I please. <laughs> I smell monkeys, but something else too. This is all my fault. I've got to do something to help Darcy. Maybe you could start by promising never to do a Masher impersonation again. <gasps> All right. Oh, no! That's exactly what I have to do. Look at me! I'm so silly, I think I'm a queen. Stop that! Stop it right now! <sighs> Stop that! Stop it right now! <laughs> Stop mocking me! Mocking me! Stop mocking me! I am the queen! Silly monkey queen! <laughs> <laughs> That's it! I'll deal with you myself, man cub! <laughs> you two do it. Open that thing and bring the man cub to me. Oh, you do it! No, you do it! You do it! Come on, hurry up! You've dropped something! Oh, thanks. <laughs> you can never beat me, Mowgli. Never! Look! Car's here! You can't fool me, man cub. Finally, I found you, Masha. Yes. 
But Masha really needs a sense of humour. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Masha really needs a sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> hey! That was nothing like me. Hey! That was nothing like me. <laughs> <laughs> Once when my father was fishing, he... Are you listening, Mowgli? Oh, yes, Baloo. Where was I? Oh, yes. After five days and then three more, if at first you don't succeed... Give up? Huh? No, never. Now, did I ever tell you... Baloo, can you hush for a bit? Some of us are trying to sleep. He didn't see a single fish the 14th time he... Baloo, why don't you go for a swim or something? You don't like my stories. I did, the first three times. Come on, then. Let's have a diving competition. I'm a cat. Cats don't like water. Oh, don't be a spoil sport, Bagheera. Here I go. Yee-haw! Oh, don't go too far out. It's fine. Come on, your turn. Uh, uh... <laughs> what a dive! A perfect ten, eh? <laughs> uh, Mowgli? <laughs> Mowgli! That's Mowgli. Up to his tricks again. <laughs> oh, hang on, Mowgli! We'll save you! Drowned too. Hello? <laughs> Where is he? Is he? No, he's alive. But they're heading for the swamp. We must follow. <laughs> Just to try and stop me. I'll tear that crocodile limb from limb. I'll make him into handbags. Come on, we have to go. We can't fight him in the swamp. We just get stuck in it. We have to find another way. Um, we need a plan. We need help. Are you going to eat me? No. That's all people ever think of. Crocodiles, man-eaters. I don't know why we get such a bad reputation. Bec because you eat people. Not today. Today, you are my honored guest. Huh? I've prepared a feast for you. Uh, a feast? Be quick, won't you, Bagheera? I'll be as quick as I can. And remember, whatever Jakala tells you, don't go into the swamp. <laughs> it's good to be home. Where's the feast you promised? It's right here. Oh, didn't I say you're it? But you promised not to eat me. And I won't. But my guests huh? on the other paw, my five sons, they need practice hunting live prey. <laughs> Oh, 
my paws and claws if anything's happened to him. Sticky stuff, mud. Oh, where are my manners? This is Biter, my eldest, Grabber, Chomper, Guzzleguts, and this is Colin, my youngest. Mowgli! Uh, Mowgli, are you all right? I I'm stuck! And Chikala wants to use me for hunting practice! <laughs> Why, I'll have your hide for this. Yes, yes, I know. You'll make me into a handbag. They all say that. A handbag? By the time I'm through, there won't be enough of you to make a belt for a mosquito. Well, then, come on over here and let's get started. Don't, Baloo! You'll get stuck! Curse you, but you won't win. <laughs> I'll win, all right. I always do. <sighs> Hold on. Bagheera is coming. And when I do, I'll have quite a story to tell. A story, eh? To say, Baloo, what was that great story you told me about the five young crocodiles? Uh -huh. Do you remember? Once upon a time, there were five young crocodiles. And their names were Biter, Grabber, Chomper, Guzzleguts and... and... Colin. How did it go? Oh, yeah, I remember that story. One croc was very clever and one was really stupid. <laughs> That's you, Chomper. <laughs> Not now, boys. Let's get on with the hunting lesson. A story, a story. Mm. It's about us. We want a story. Well then, young snappers, if you're sitting comfortably, get, on. get back here! <laughs> then I'll begin. Once upon a time, young Colin was very hungry. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> so he said. Let's go fishing. So they swam and swam, and Colin noticed there were only four of them. They swam a bit more, and there were only three, then two, and then just him. What happened? Where did we go? Stop! Stop! Enough of this rubbish! Don't listen to him. Dad! Just five more minutes. Then we'll hunt him, please. Two more minutes. Then we get back to work. Shush, Dad. 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 But in the river lived a big, hairy, hungry monster. He had mean eyes. <laughs> and teeth like daggers. <laughs> Training starts now! I said no! Forward, boys, and don't leave so much as a bone for the vultures. Bogley, look out! Hearty! I'm so pleased to see you! Greetings, little brother. Do you need a hand? Oh, I'll give you greetings. Not so fast, Jakala. A little more. I can't breathe. Catch, Hearty. Funny noise. 
<laughs> Thank you, hearty. Think nothing of it. <laughs> Tell me, little brother, how did you keep the crocodiles at bay for so long? We told them boring stories. How do you know boring stories? I had a very good teacher. <laughs> Modern cubs. No respect for their elders. Oh, it wasn't like that in my day. Did I ever tell you about no, the time? Blue. Oh, not again. <laughs>